Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th, Monday through Thursday. This is the Full Moon Energy Readings. Now, you know that when I am doing Monday through Thursday readings, I use my two Radley Valentine decks, my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, my I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, whatever the message is for whoever is out there. It just gets delivered, and it's best when I don't try to make sense of what it's all about. Now, my camera is working again, so, you know, basically hubby went and looked at it, went, you know, and said, oh, it's wor it works, so I just tried poking it into different ports, and I did find one where it is now working. Okay, the 26th at 11.31 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the full moon, and that will be in Scorpio. This full moon, it's one of the super moons, meaning it's very close to the earth, or at least it appears to be close to the earth. It looks to, it appears to be larger. Um, it's also, you know, Scorpio full moon, you know, especially in Taurus. Taurus is something that's very tactile, very earthbound, but Scorpio is fluid, emotional, and has a lot, a lot of secrets. But, you know, Scorpio full moons are about, you know, to me, I have always felt that they are secrets revealed. And it's the time when secrets come out. Things maybe people don't want to necessarily acknowledge. I don't know. Um, or it's those things that you've been waiting for to be revealed. But anyway, I think it's very positive. I think that, when, you know, when you're eyes are opened, I think that you can then deal with your life much better. Sometimes it hurts. Believe me, sometimes it hurts. But I do feel that this is going to be very eye-opening type of energy. Okay? Um, remember, this is that time when you release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need anymore, and request for the good stuff. You can kind of do that a couple of days before, I like to do it the day before, the day of, so the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th are really good energy days to do that. And like I'm you know, saying, I'm not worshiping the moon. I look at it as a divine creation, but the moon does affect everything and everybody on the earth. It's also full moons do have a time when they are also, you know, people's emotions are heightened. Um, so just be aware of that, especially if you are a water sign. Um, it's also a time when, again, I'm really feeling revelations coming, especially with this full moon. And it could be, yes, I'm going to say it again, that Saturn in Aquarius. Anyway, let's go ahead with our readings. Hello, my Aries, and how are you? How are you going to be? Are you going to be enjoying this full moon? I think it's going to be epic. So let's see what we have for this week for my Aries. Okay, here we are. We're going to cut. Reversed cards have a little stronger energy. So we have the one, two, and we have three. Here we go, my Aries. Three cards. First card is... The Six of Michael. Now, Michael is air energy. It is our Libra, our Aquarius. It's our Gemini thought processes, hearing news, um, making some plans. Now, Six is the number of man. Now, some people are a little afraid of Sixes. You know what? It's all the, it's what you put into it. If you're putting in fear, that's what you'll get. If you put in positive energy, that's what you get. Now, sixes is also number of man. It is what you can create. So if you're putting in this positive, if you're putting in this heart and soul into a six, this makes things so much better. Now, six of Michael is leaving the storm behind you. It is going into the sunshine. It is things are passing, at, or you are passing out. Oh, not passing out. You are passing out of the harder times and 
you know, the, the rainbows, the sun, it is awaiting you now. Okay, so it is the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So you could be moving on this one too. Let's go. Next card is the Queen of Raphael. Now, Queen's underlying energy is water. Raphael is water. It's very emotional. It is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And we're in the Scorpio full moon. So you may feel a little emotional around this full moon. There's a lot of maternal energy with the Queen of Raphael. Um, it doesn't mean wh whether you're male or female. It doesn't really matter. It's just strong commitment, strong you know, there's there's a sense of you will do anything that needs to be done for what this is. A lot of times this has to be with what you hold dear. So you, you know, it could be children, it could be your, any of these relationships, your work, job, career, personal, intimate, interpersonal, family, or home. But it's, again, one of those relationships that you feel really committed about and you will do what needs to be done. Okay, so there is this, there is this, um, you know, while things are clearing up, I mean, you know, to, to kind of, um, you know, there could have been some sort of a disagreement and now things are resolving themselves and now there's this emotional, I never want to go back to that anymore. I want to move forward. I never want to go back to that older energy and there is this strong commitment. Now, there could be also protection of your children, protection of any of those relationships I talk about. So, Kind, understanding, giving, psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy, psychic information. And remember, the full moon, you're usually psychic and, you know, psychic uh, connections, psychic intuition are stronger at this time. Your last card is the Ace of Raphael. So, it's kind of like um, Aces are new beginnings, are ones. New beginnings, new starts. So, so to give you an example, I would basically, something very emotional to you, something very, that you feel strongly about. So in, in some ways, I would even say, like maybe, again, just an example, you're leaving a relationship, you have vowed never to go back to that type of a relationship again, it might have been an abusive relationship, it might have been a very unsatisfying relationship, they might have lied to you, I am never going back to that, I am going to protect myself, and because you are getting to this point, and you know, it does say follow your heart. You are actually growing. You are healing. You are loving yourself again. Something new opens up, a new relationship. And again, it could be any of those. You know, work relationships, people can hurt you in work, okay? There can be abusive work relationships. There can be abusive home relationships. There, could be, there can be abusive intimate relationships. But this is like a transitional time. And, you know, but this is also healing yourself, loving yourself, and this is, okay, I'm ready to start over again. Or something comes to me and I am loving, you know, I'm going into that. So, a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So this is, there's a lot of growth here. There's a lot of um, healing with this. There's also a lot of, okay, I'm getting ready now to start again. Now, is that with, is that with, you know, the intimate, it could be, it could be with that personal relationship. It could be with any, like I said, work relationships can be very abusive also. You know, you have a, you have a bully for a boss and you, you know, you like, I don't want to trust anymore any, you know, but this is a lot of that is, oh, so we have some cards that have popped. So we have two Archangel energy cards. So, and they are both reversed. Now, here we go. Here we have a nine. A nine has a completion energy to it. It's like, let's get the, you know, we're done with this now. This is the hermit. This is Archangel Raziel. This is a lot, you know, this might be that you've been taking time to heal. You kind of had to withdraw a little bit, connect with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is. But there's a healing with this. There is a, or you may still need to do a little more of that or a lot more. But, you know, and it might be that you need to do this before this starts, or this might actually heal, help you in this part. But this is the hermit. The hermit is when you withdraw. You withdraw from others. You make a connection. And, again, there's a lot of healing with this energy here. So, 
spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery, you know, a lot of times prayer, okay? Then we come to the world, Archangel Michael. Michael is the archangel who is the defender, the protector, you know, Michael and his sword. And so we have that two-one energy. So twos have some decision-making. One has that new beginning type of energy. There's also, you add it together, it becomes a three. Three has a very creative energy, powerful, power of three. Also, the trinity type of energy to it. But the world is like things are, things, you know, you, you might have gone through some harder times. Now, you know, there's this healing energy here. There's this, this you know, you you're withdraw a little bit. Maybe you've licked your wounds a little bit. And now the world is opening up again for you. Anyway, a job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment. So I feel like this full moon is going to pull you out of some of your lethargy. Some of your, maybe your, um, you know, maybe your... Um, your wounded warrior type, your Chiron type of energy too, um, you know, and it's it's actually, it's like you want to live again, you want to get moving again, and I don't see, you know, this week looks like it could be a very good week for you to shed, shed the despondency and start, start your life again. How's that? Anyway, let's go on and see what crystal or energy could be helpful for my Aries, this one's reversed. Fire, fire. Well, that's your sign. That's your sign. Now, how do you, you know, you can't carry fire with. You can um, wear some really bold colors, reds, you know, reds, oranges, if you like. You can put, you know, candles, things like that. There might be some stones that, um, you know, you might equate with fire per se. But fire is all about, it's passionate creation, travel, Courage. And it takes a lot of courage to move from one spot into another. Okay? So you've got, this is going to be an interesting week for you. It's actually a very healing, um, yes, healing hurts. I say, you know, tell people healing hurts. Ask anyone who has to go through physical therapy. Okay, so my Aries. I hope you enjoy the readings because I enjoy doing them. Remember the button. Please like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. I do try to post on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm a little off. And I do 12, you know, each time. So I know that's a lot of bells. But more importantly, my Aries, please know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.